In this module, we're going to look at an as-built but-for or a collapsed as-built analysis. This method involves the analysis of the contractor's as-built program. Delay events are isolated within the as-built program as time duration activities. Then, these events are removed in a logical manner and the resulting earlier theoretical completion date is compared to the actual completion date. The difference between these two dates is the delay to the project. The delays are categorized according to the party responsible for the same and a claim can be submitted based on it. For EOT claims, only the delays for which the contractor is not responsible is removed to give the right answer. Strengths First, the delays are actual, therefore the analysis is based on factual data. Second, the analysis can be carried out even if an as plan or baseline program is not available. So what are the weaknesses? First, it is very difficult to carry out a collapsed as-built analysis on complex programs. Second, additional logical links will have to be introduced and this can be manipulated and the analysis could become subjective. And finally, there is still an ongoing debate about whether an as-built critical path exists or not. So here we are in MS project. I'm just going to load the table that I saved before. I'm going to update the project information, especially the start date. I want it to tie in with the date you have in Excel, which is the 18th of May, 2015. Let's copy and paste that in. So start date and the current date will be updated with this particular date. And now we can start creating the as built program in MS project. So I'm going to use a shortcut. I'm going to copy and paste the activities from Excel to MS project. It's one of the conveniences that you have. I'm going to indent and link all the key activities. Now we have to remove the constraints that have been inserted automatically by MS project. Change it back to as soon as possible, which is the default setting. Everything looks good. The finish date has not changed. It's extremely important to check the finish dates and milestones to make sure that there haven't been any critical changes to the program after removing constraints. So now let's update the program and the status date should be equal to the finish date for inspection and handover. And there you have it. All activities have been updated and marked as complete. So this is your as built program. So now you can delete the links between the activities and it won't make any difference to the finish dates because once you have your actual as built dates, network logic doesn't function anymore. So in effect, this is probably the as built program you will receive for doing a collapsed as built analysis. So what you need to do when you receive an as built program is you have to make it dynamic. So what that means is you'll have to start introducing logical links between the activities and remove the actual start and finish dates. So in effect, you're, we're going backwards in time, but in the real world, you will just get an as built program and you will have to make it dynamic, insert logical links so that the program can be analyzed. Now it's time to introduce our first delay event. The procedure is very similar to the one we use for the as planned impact analysis, except we're doing it in reverse. What do I mean by that? Well, in the as planned impact analysis, you start with a zero delay duration, which is subsequently increased to the estimated delay. Whereas in the as built but for or collapsed as built analysis, you already have an as built delay duration which we will introduce and subsequently we'll zero it out so that the whole program will collapse 
by the actual as built delay duration. So if you just follow what I'm doing on screen, you will understand what I'm talking about. So I've introduced the fragnet. Now it's time to update the durations and link the fragnet to the whole network. Again, it gets a bit tricky when we're trying to move the start and finish dates for the delay event or the fragnet in general. I'm actually using the slightly more difficult method, which is manipulating the calendar. If you go back to the module, which teaches you how to split the bars, you will understand there are two ways to do it. You can adopt any method you choose. But in general, whenever I do a master course, I try to do things slowly so that it's easy for you to follow with particular attention being given to steps which may be more difficult to do in the real world. So our fragment is almost complete. Let's put a finish to start link from the delay event to the tunnel concreting post delay and a final finish to start link from the tunnel concreting post delay to the inspection and handover. So the finish date hasn't changed and we need to insert one final link, a finish to start from the tunnel excavation to the tunnel concreting pre-delay. Now it's time to remove the constraints which were inserted by MS project. Let's set it to the default as soon as possible. Everything looks good. The finish date has not changed. So now we can safely delete the original tunnel concreting activity. Once more, make sure that the finish date has not changed. It hasn't in this case. So our network is sound and logical. Now we can reduce the delay event to zero and watch the program collapse. If I undo it, you can see it's gone from the ninth to the seventh. So that is your collapsed as built analysis. The only thing left to do is to populate the Excel delay analysis table with all the relevant information before and after collapsing the program. So please fill in all the relevant sections and once that's done, your collapsed as built analysis is complete. I've already populated the table with the relevant data including the pre-CAB and post-CAB dates, namely the 9th of July and the 7th of July respectively. So to conclude, there is a two-day critical delay caused by the employer, which is an ECD or a compensable delay. And this is how a collapsed as-built analysis is done.